Hey guys, it's Dave from 3DP and me. Today in episode 2 of the Millennium Mill CNC series, we're going to be attempting to machine the Titan 4M part. This doesn't really have any new types of features compared to the 1M, so I decided to push my limits with the machine. And in doing so I made a number of mistakes. I pushed the machine past its limits and ultimately failed to produce the part at the end of it. Anyway, let's take a look at the machining and then we'll talk about the finished part. to the adaptive clearing up. So this is where things started to go wrong. Initially I set this toolpath to cut a bit lower than the bottom of the part for getting to account for vice clearance. I managed to just skim the hardened steel vice insert before hitting the e-stop. Anyway, I replanned it without extending the depth past the bottom of the part and started again. Watching the video you can clearly see and hear the chatter occurring during this operation. The machine can't handle the combination of this speed, depth of cut and step over. Not to mention this is quite a long tool for the diameter, which will not help the chatter situation. Overall the toolpath did remove a lot of material fast, but somewhere during the pocket operation it lost some steps, causing the final part where the tool went to cut the half height shoulders to be out of position, although not by enough that I noticed during this op. <laughs>
to the external contour. So the loss steps from the previous op were the primary cause of failure for this one. However, given I was attempting a similar material removal rate, the settings were probably a bit optimistic anyway. The machine plunged too close to the corner and then attempted to cut far deeper than it should have due to the position now being off. So overall this part was a complete fail. Some of it down to exceeding the machine's capabilities and some of it down to my mistakes with the planning. Um, but we have learned lots about the upper limits in terms of feed rates and depth of cut the Millennium Mill is capable of. And at the end of the day it did remove quite a lot of material in quite a small amount of time. Anyway, stay tuned for episode 3 where I'll be machining some soft jaw blanks for the low profile vise. 